Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about problem 13 and chapter 3. In this one, we still do um, calculation for vectors. There we have three vectors A, B, C. We know its magnet magnitude and we know its direction. Then we need to do calculation B subtract 2A, 2A subtract 3B plus 2C. In this one, we still need to Project the vector A, B, C in X and a Y component. So there, when we project the A X and X component and A Y, A and a Y component, so we get A X, A Y, A cosine theta, A sine theta. And there, when we sub project the B at X component and the Y component, you can see at the X component we must keep negative side, negative side, and then we have B Y is a B uh, size. So we just project B, S component and Y component. And then we get the CX is at zero. So CX is along the Y direction, so X component is zero, Y component is negative. 31.0. If you want to do the cosine theta or sine theta, you can see this theta is, uh, this will run from the point of X to the Z, to the with the negative y is uh, 270 degrees. And then we do the calculation for x component and the y component, b subtracted 2a. So we get the bx subtract bx, this one subtracted 2 times the ax. by subtracted 2 times the ay. In this way, we get two components for this vector. And then after we get the ve this vector, we can get the magnitude and angle theta for this symbol. Similarly, we can get the 2i subtract 3b plus 2c, and similarly, we get the, this vector's x component and y component by using this one, 2 times ax subtract 3 times abx plus 2 times cx. And similarly, for the y component, in this one, we can get this vector, the i component and j component. And then we get the magnitude for this vector and the angle theta. Thank you.